The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. I love gold! Welcome, everybody, to the Blue Ribbon Podcast nominated show, Pillow Talk, with Franklin and Uncle Howard. We've made it, Howard. We've made it. Well, the Blue Ribbon Podcast Awards, everyone knows that's the pinnacle of the podcast award the pinnacle, industry. The Blue Ribbon. It is the Golden Globes of podcasting. It is. And it to is. just be nominated, it's an, it's an unspeakable honor. But what will be an even greater honor is when we stand atop the Doughboys charred torsos as yes. the real champions. Those Doughboys will be uh, roasted, toasted, and uh, burnt to a crisp like their name is Sponge. And the real Sponge is actually kind of an alt-right nerd. So he's uh, very different from the Doughboys. Anyways, we are recording this episode from our king-size bed. The king-size bed me and my uncle share every night. And we love to wrestle around in here. We've done our taxes in here. We do just about everything in here except uh, except the ladies. <laughs> that needs to change soon. I mean, not. Don't when, tell them that. Oh, it's 2019 uh, we, though. I I, the ladies, gonna... the men, anything can go here. You know what I mean. And we're not. This bed's not seeing any action lately. It's uh. It's a sad time. For well, us. Brenda, the bartender, did come by, and she is a woman. And that counts. Uh, Blair came by once. Blair came by. We had Julian here, and uh, Julian here. We had Mike Dick on the bed. We had Mike Dick. We had Jumpin' Jim Grabowski. We it's, had Jumpin' Jim. He was it, jumping on the bed. He was jumping on the bed. He was doing his patented jumping jacks. His chop does, drops. He does two of them, and then he's done. He's done. He is done. So the most action we've seen in our bedroom is a disgraced pro wrestler, a bartender, uh, and I guess like a couple of actual hot shots. But anyways, I mean, how are we going to solve this? Because I found out the uh, the other teacher at school that I had the hots for, she has a hunk boyfriend. Wow. So what do I do here, Howard? What do I do when uh, the, the one other hot person that I work with has a has a hunk boyfriend? Well, the obvious choice is you go up to her and you get real casual, say, hey, do you like that hunk boyfriend? And if she hesitates even a second, just say, <laughs> maybe Sorry. you'd rather have a peewee boyfriend. <laughs> no, I'm not a peewee. What are you calling a peewee? But Franklin, I saw you get tired trying to pick up the PlayStation controller the other day. <laughs> Not tired from picking up the PlayStation controller. It's a controller. PlayStation 1, everybody. Don't think we're fancy men. Jesus, right? We're not rich. We have, no, we do have an extensive DVD collection, including the finest infinite films money can buy. Howard, we have a tradition here in the bed. The fans know it. Maybe if you're new to the show, you don't know it. But every night before me and my uncle go to sleep in the same bed, we like to watch a little movie. So tonight, my choice is a smart movie. Because I got to get smart. I got to start getting smarter. I got to start taking my alpha brain and start keeping up with the hunks of the world. If I don't have their looks, I better have a massive brain, which I really don't. So I chose no. Enemy of the State. I chose Enemy of the State. A, uh, I oh, think it's based oh. off a true story. Yeah. yeah hello, Howard? Oh, I'm Go here. There. Pardon me. Okay. Enemy of the State. Uh, it stars Will Smith. But more importantly, it stars Jack Black and Seth Green the Jack and Jason Black. Lee, yeah, the Jack Black, and he's a computer guy in this. He's Whoa. a computer guy. He's watching. He's watching the world. This is about the surveillance state. This is what they're always. This is what Alex Jones is always talking about. So I think I picked a pretty smart movie. I mean, it just shows Seth Green doesn't always have to play this funny guy. He can also play a guy who knows about computers. Like he did in the Italian job. He can very, do it all. Great movie. He can really do it all. So I'm picking Enemy of the State. Uh, what was the movie Jack Black got his arm ripped off in? Uh, 127 Hours. 
127 hours. Thank you, Uncle Howard, for the You're clarification. Welcome. So that's my movie. I just think it's smart, based off a true story, and has, you know, great cast. That it does sound absolutely fantastic. Uh, Franklin, I'd like to tell you what my movie is, and I hope you approve of it. This is a, uh, a film, and, and let me set this up for you. A film? Yeah, when you think about action stars, do you, wh- who, who do you think about? Uh, it, I think of all generally, the greats. All you the know, greats. I think of Steven Seagal. Sure. You know, I think of Bob Hoskins in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, of course. You and know. in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I think of John Leguizamo in Spawn and the Super Mario Brothers movie yet again. Yes. I think of the heavy hitters. I think yeah. of the guys who aren't afraid to not do their own stunts, you know? Uh, yeah. Jeff Goldblum. Mm-hmm. Hollywood hotshot. He had to run from a dinosaur. Don't tell me he's not an action star. So you you're, know? you're listing a lot of the biggest names. Mm-hmm. But the what you boys. don't hear a lot of people listing his names like John Malkovich or Helen Mirren. Now, hold up a second. John Malkovich, action? I feel like that guy breaks a sweat doing his taxes. Hey! <laughs> it's my Kevin Bacon laugh. Oh, Kevin Bacon. That guy <laughs> lost all of his money because he didn't do his homework. What an yeah. idiot. <laughs> also, Hel- Helen Mirren, or should I call her Helen Dame Judy Minch? <laughs> I confuse Helen Mirren, <laughs> Judy Dench. Who's the third one? The one that's like really respected? Oh, um, oh, everyone's <laughs> gonna be so mad at everyone's us. Everyone's gonna be so mad at us. <laughs> For, I, oh God, it's, it's like her name Helen is Mirren. her name is pretty just like basic, right? It's just like yeah, 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 Jessica yeah, yeah. James or something. <laughs> that's the porn star. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. So. She's one of their best talents. God, you know, it goes to show you the discrimination of old uh, actresses that Judy Dench, Helen Mirren, and the uh, there's the third one that the, we can't The think one of. who's even better like an than Oscar them. winner. Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> old British actress. <laughs> Go look that's it up on Bing. Good. <laughs> You're actually searching this. Man, I apologize All to right. our fans. For, no. We're a couple of bird brains. We're a couple of. Well, we've been off the. Uh, Alpha brain this week. You know, we kept telling you Maggie guys that Smith. Maggie Smith, is that it? That's it. Okay, Maggie Smith it is. Helen Mirren, Maggie Smith, and Judy Dench. Those and are the three pillars. Of course. Imelda Staunton. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm looking at the top British actresses. Okay, enough of this. Anyways, Howard, you told Gemma. me John Malkin. Shorsha Ronan is number 20. Hey, Shorsha Ronan. But she's Hello. a Bronx girl. Ah, it's nothing. So, no, not so is, is she a Bronx girl? <laughs> she was. was or it, is no, she from the Great British Empire? Oh, no, not British, Uncle Howard. Tis not I. Bro- God. I, we don't need British Uncle Howard to determine. Shorsha Ronan. You know, she probably grew up in, uh, you know, merry old England or Liverpool or what have you, and then she moved to the liberal Bronx. Liberal pool is what I call it. Liberal pool. Ugh, liberal pool. Gross. <laughs> it's like dead pools. <laughs> okay. Really bad. God. <laughs> Anyways, Georgia Ronan, uh, she grew up in the Bronx as well, and that's how she was able to do the hit movie uh, Brooklyn when she was only uh, 16, Brooklyn when I did not know about her. And I didn't care about her, so I don't care about that. Who at could? All. Who could? Lame. Anyways, I've... tell me more of this movie. What is this movie? Oh, okay. John Malkovich. Uh, you're Helen right, Mirren? John Malkovich, Helen Mirren. They're action stars. We've also got Morgan Freeman in there. Okay. We've also got for a uh, to appeal to some of the younger eyes in the audience, Mary Louise Parker. Okay. This movie is called Red. It was a 2010 action masterpiece where Bruce Willis and his old friends get together and do action even though they're old. (laughs) I mean, how does he do Expendables and then does Red? Expendables is uh, the blanket 
or the umbrella okay. that contains the red. And this is like specifically red. the oldest people imaginable? Yeah, this is like, you know how the Expendables has some young people in it, like Ronda Rousey and right. Hemsworth, who isn't Thor Ragnarok? <laughs> isn't, that's not his complete name. His name is just Thor. Thor Ragnarok. That's not his name. Show him a, some respect. A... He's a god. <laughs> okay, easy there. I don't need British Uncle Howard to come out and defend him, man. Christ. He is a bright god of the uh, country, then, and that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out. I concede. I concede, British Uncle Howard. Barrister Uncle Howard. Barrister. I concede. Ugh. Okay. So, Red. Anyway, I mean... it's a great movie. You're going to love it. Everyone's going to love it. Everybody's gonna love Red, so we'll we'll see both movies tonight. We like to keep it late nights here, you know. We like to stay up late and stay awake all day. We don't get a lot of sleep these days, do we, Frank? No, for a show called Pillow Talk, uh, that's because we we're always get talk. Lot. We associate bed with being awake now because that's this right. is where we record our award nominated award nominated podcast. podcast podcast and insanely popular and successful podcast too i think yes. it's fair to say yes it is has a global appeal so anyways Sex speaking of action appeal. stars we got a question from our fans to go over today howard oh that's true we love our fans where would we be without our fans the fans make us who we, we owe are. it we owe it all to you our fans and it, <laughs> we're so lucky that there are so many of you and <laughs> Anyways, you all love us with your lives we need to give a quick shout out to uh, uh jeff gibson is it the guy who jeff created gibson. oh my god he created this great with claymation uh, ornament of yeah, us. I mean, a real Wallace and Gromit of us. Yes, and it looks so good. It it's, is really good, actually. It really looks a lot like us, and it shows what we do in bed. You drink a beer, I have a fleshlight, we share a fleshlight. You know, I, I don't understand how... Uh, you wash them out, why is that grosser than anything else? We share off, a toothbrush, we... too, and that's not gross. You right. don't think there's anything weird about sharing a toothbrush with your uncle. We bought we bought him refurbished and he got a hell of a deal only thirty three dollars so that right there tells you we use our thinking caps when it comes to spending wisely we make good decisions dude <laughs> yeah exactly so w this is a question actually kind of relates back to uh, <coughs> your action star question mm. it comes from uh, actually Brenda the bartender former uh, guest of the show she yes. asked do you think Cody Lambert from Step by Step could have a career in the post Me Too era Cody I mean, the Tool Man Lambert. Cody the Tool Man Lambert. No, you're confusing two things here. And it's, uh, you know, it's just Cody. Cody Lambert from Step by Step. Sasha Mitchell. He was yeah. always very humble like that. He was. He lived in the van on his show, so we can mm -hmm. kind of respect that. You know, uh, two men who share a bed. His van also served as a bed. So... Not well, too bad. in a lot of ways, he was kind of the first Uncle Howard. He was the, yes. Which I guess yeah. brings us to Brenda's question. Yeah, I mean, well, if you can be redeemed, and I guess not anybody, obviously, some perverts are terrible. What did he do? He, he It's not like he beat up his wife because he's a kung fu guy, is what I imagine. Yo, I hope not. He wasn't kickboxer, of course. He wasn't kickboxer. That's why I assume whatever he did, I forgot what he did. You're asking the wrong people, Brenda. I apologize. But we should have researched this. But I just assume with all his action roles that, okay, so that transcends back, in, back home. And he did that to his wife, and he's a bad man. And no, if that's the case, no, he shouldn't. Hang I mean, but here. what did he do, though? Do you know, Howard? He had the scoop. I'm, what, what is this gentleman's name again? Sasha Mitchell. Sasha Mitchell. We can have a whole show looking things up on Bing here. No, right? I know. It's not a very it's exciting very embarrassing uh, for podcast. Us. We should have been more prepared. Yeah, that's on us. But nonetheless, he's 50 he, years old. The police came to his house because of... Uh, reports of domestic abuse, but it doesn't mention if there were any charges made or what. But all I know is I believe the women. I believe the women as well. I Most believe the of the time, I believe women. And, you know, I, I wish they knew I believed them because, uh, you know, I, I do not get to meet a lot of women, and it's just very unfortunate for me. I don't, I don't know what to do, Howard. Uh, I really don't know what to do. Uh, 
you know, you know something, uh, um, Franklin is. I, I do believe women, but more importantly, I believe in life after love. And that's why I know that you are going to rise again from your, your defeats and your heartbreaks and your losses. And there have been so many, too, been many to, too many to list, but I'll try. There was the first time that you ever tried to ride a bike and the bike fell on you before you even got close to it. Okay, I don't know why we're bringing that up. There was the time you were in elementary school and your pants were on backwards and everyone said, hey, how come your pants are on backwards? And you said it was because I peed my pants and then they turned around and saw there was pee all over where your butt was and then you pooped your pants and it came out of your fly. <laughs> Again, I, I think I was just imitating Criss Cross. I don't know where the second half of that came from. <laughs> I don't think that happened. Why wouldn't I just open up the fly and let the poop fall out? I mean, come on, it, man. It got squished out like, no. in a, like a Play-Doh. Uh, I don't remember machine. that too well, but you are my uncle, so. I was there. I was the one who took you to school that day. That's Your right. first day of seventh grade. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, man. You know what? I actually did shit myself in seventh grade. <laughs> I did. Let's hear and all I, about it. Okay. It was so bad. Oh, my God. It was just like the early morning, so it wasn't that bad of a thing. But I still had PE class. And I don't know why. So, yeah, I threw out my... Uh, I threw out my boxers, tried to flush them. It didn't didn't work. I mean, of course. you know, luckily nobody else is there. And, uh, you know, I just finished cleaning myself up terribly. I mean, not terribly. I, I, did, I did a fine job cleaning myself up. But then I felt for some reason. For a 12-year-old boy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> for some reason, I felt, oh, I don't have underwear. I can't go my day without wearing underwear. So I, I got the toilet paper and I made myself makeshift underwear maybe i guess it's more of a makeshift diaper in retrospect <laughs> but it's i just like i need underwear i i, I need un, i need to wear underwear you know i ha, i i ended up not like doing pe and like okay you know what i i shouldn't even i i didn't like changing in front of the other guys so i, I wore my gym clothes under my uniform right of uh, course. i don't know why we, i don't know why we had locker rooms that's that's a that's that's a weird thing looking well, back. Well, you went to kids. a uniform school because you yeah. were sent to one of those uh, schools for children who can't stop screaming. Isn't that Shut correct? The fuck up. Fuck you, man. <laughs> it's not true at all. It, everyone, everyone, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Let's Shut end the, the stigma. Fuck up. Shut the fuck Franklin up. Franklin had screaming problems as I a child. I didn't have screaming problems. He I couldn't didn't have stop to... screaming. That's, that's a lie. Mm. That is a lie. It and... was because existence terrified him <laughs> well it does now correctly <laughs> it does now i wasn't that smart then but i guess the whole you didn't yeah. know what to call it my anyway. point is uh i for whatever reason felt so uncomfortable not wearing uh underwear that i made it out of toilet paper and spent the whole day with this toilet paper makeshift underwear after shitting myself and wasn't very comfortable, you know. I think I probably at some point of the day I may have ditched it, but uh, I feel like owning up to this makes me stronger, Howard. It, it makes you the bigger man. <laughs> it does make me the bigger man. It you does make me. Owned up. To I owned it. up. So nobody and can I think you showed me. some very creative problem solving in that I story. Did. It, like, let's say I did need underwear in the last, in, for whatever reason. Granted, it wasn't the best job. I don't know, maybe I was afraid I'd shit myself again. God. You never know the first you, time it happens. Jesus it Christ, It will definitely man. happen again in your lifetime. Jesus Christ, man. I am not proud of this. And you know what? This is a shoot. Uh, <laughs> I'm not I, proud of it. I like that story. That was a, uh, you showed some real Zuckerbergian thinking outside the box kind of action. My favorite character from you, uh, Batman vs. Superman. Yo, I love how good Zuckerberg is in Batman vs. Superman. He's great. Now you see me, and now you see me too as well. Mm, and Two of, of my course, favorite films. American Ultra Mark Zuckerberg was terrific in that. Oh, yeah. Kristen Stewart and Tony Kristen Grace. Stewart and uh, Connie Breton, maybe. Okay, I gotta see that film. It's, I have to see. It's you're gonna like it. I bought it on Amazon. I watched a minute, and then my rental expired three days later. So I That's felt like an idiot. Exactly how 
Amazon does here. That's, that's why, how they do you. That's why I'm a Zuckerberg man and not a Bezos man. Fuck Bezos. We're not Bezos men here. Anyways, let's move on to the next question. This is very traumatic so far yeah. for me. I don't know how we went from Cody Lambert to me shitting myself in the seventh so, grade. I, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, uh, Cody Lambert you. cannot have a career. No. No, the no, 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 no. Well, I mean, it's been like, what, 20 years? Maybe he's changed. He could do instructional videos no, on YouTube. No, he shot his shot. I mean, if he's he changed made his in 20 bed. years. No one can change in 20 years. Can he get his Twitch show? Yeah, he can have a Twitch show. And <laughs> maybe he can. Uh, can he have a podcast? He could. <laughs> any dumbass can have a podcast. Yeah, yeah we've proven that. <laughs> Next subject. Next subject. Teach. God, I love Teach. Teach is always giving us... Oh, my God. Thank you. This is a fucking question right here. Because, you know, I, I had an incident with the hot Jewish teacher who turns out as a hunk boyfriend. She saw my car that has a bit of a burnt roof, as you know, because you see my car and we live together. I see but it every day. You see it every day. My black Hyundai Elantra. Beautiful uh, car. Yes. So it has a bit of a burnt roof. The, not the roof. The uh, hood. I mean, the paint's peeled off a little bit. You know, it's not peeled off. Because it's, just a darker it's been in the sun like a cool yes. guy. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's not as black as the rest of the car. And now the hot Jewish teacher pulls up in her bench. She sees me. And is like, she is not going to want to sleep with me now for sure. Having a boyfriend and then seeing the car, that's just a lose-lose. So Teach wants to know, are you finally going to let Franklin borrow the Miata on a weekday? You are on the hot seat. There is... Absolutely no chance I'll let that happen. And I I am sorry, but I do have a very good reason for it. Now, back in the early 90s, I was involved heavily in the Norwegian black metal scene. I was playing guitar for Mayhem. I was hanging out with all those guys. Uh, I was helping set some churches on fire and all of that kind of stuff. And, well, as hell you know how it usually happened, I ended up owing those guys some pretty serious money. And, um... Well, they're starting to get out of prison now because in Norway you can only stay in prison for about 20 years before they have to let you out. So uh, they're on they're looking loose. for a Miata. They're looking for a Miata, and uh, the fact of the matter is, I'm the only man that can drive a Miata in this town and get away from these guys at the same time. So I owe it to every other Miata driver in this unspecified Florida city to drive around all day long. And if any of those black metal boys get behind me, I'm going to put the metal to the floor and they're only going to see one thing. And that's my middle finger <laughs> at about 95 miles an hour going down the freeway. <laughs> God, it's, it's very frightening. I shouldn't laugh. It's a very it's, frightening ordeal. Wow. It, it's for your own good. It is for my own good. Jesus, me, Jesus, that's, would... why, that's why I love you so much. And I want to take good care you. of you. I appreciate that. You know, will you live your life like Paul Walker, uh, who they see, they I don't understand where this urban legend came a from. A quarter mile at a time. No, not a quarter mile at a time. The one where he, the one where they say, "If speed kills me, don't cry," because I was smiling the whole time. He never said that. I went on. I looked it up on AOL. He never said it. I feel so, like that greatly underestimates the amount of time when you're in a car crash that you have to yeah, realize you you're in a alive. car crash. <laughs> that I, quote I, really I, underestimates I, the amount of time being burned alive. Yeah, and, uh, takes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm burning to death, but at least it's in a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. People need to stop doing that. It's a decal on so many cars as well, you know. Oh. More than it should be. They're saying, I intend to die in this vehicle, and that's an admirable stance. <laughs> God. You, I'm going to die in the, the Miata, of course. Am I going to bury the Miata as well? Am I not going to get it in your will, your last will and testament? Mm, you're definitely not getting the Miata Fuck in the last you, will man. and testament. God but that's damn. because I'm not going to wait around to die somewhere not in the Miata. <laughs> okay. My one of my New Year's resolutions is I'm getting in the Miata and I'm taking it all the way over the edge of the earth. The edge of the earth. That's right. As you know, this is a flat earth. Well, wait, wait, wait. first off, you told me once you wanted to drive it to the nexus of the universe because you saw the same street intersect with itself. That's true. 
That is true, and that I did take that as evidence of uh, some of, of Than- Thanos' meddling in uh, reality with his uh, his Infinity Stones. And so Thanos, okay. I, well, because of so unlimited Thanos is responsible power. For this. Yeah. Oh, you un- it all goes back power. to unlimited power. Okay. It's always okay. about unlimited power. That's what we want, and the unlimited power ties into the perfect nut. Which is also exactly. what we live and die for. Okay. It's, okay. It so is you want what to take this to the all edge of the universe. men hunt for. So you want yes, to take I'm, the Miata to the edge of the universe. I want to take it to the edge of the universe, and I want to look over that edge. And I want to know what I'm going to see, but I know what I'm going to see. Dormammu from I am Doctor go- Strange? No, I am going to okay. see David Lee Roth as... He appeared in the California Girls video. <laughs> the edge of the universe, or the, or the planet Earth, is David Lee Roth in multiple climates with multiple beautiful women. Yeah. That is what you find. Riding around end. on roller skates and stuff. <laughs> God damn. You know, that was one of the first videos. It had so many babes. It wasn't one of the first videos I pleasured myself to because uh, it was Peg Bundy who ignited that flame but uh, which is also weird. what was the first music video that you pleasured yourself to though oh man that that's a tough one I mean honestly married or children is probably what I jerked off Ooh. to the most so I can't uh, I there can't is no recall. second place yeah there is no second place I can't and I can't you know what no wrong Aerosmith uh, the Alicia Silverstone lift Tyler was crying ones. when I met you. And now I'm dying to forget. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I always. Song. Now that one of the music videos scared me when Liv Tyler and Alicia Silverstone go skinny dipping and they leave the guy behind there in the nude. And I thought, oh, no, I need to be ready for this someday. And it caused me real anxiety. Like, oh, shit, that could happen to me someday if, if these two if. If I meet two beautiful women who might want to plow, they might just get me naked and then ditch me off the fucking I-95 or something. Exactly. That's one of the things people don't realize is there's this double standard between women and men where women <laughs> they can, can leave just us naked? leave you naked on the side of the road and it's all fun and games. <laughs> it is funny. It is a lot funnier than a woman being stranded. Howard. Yeah, there's I can't nothing lie. funny is... about stranding a woman, but why no, is well, that? They because they've twisted society's mind. Shut the fuck up. It's just funnier seeing a guy hold his dog and be like, oh, no, boy. Way. Oh, no, I'm naked now. <laughs> oh, no. Gee. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Though it really wouldn't take uh, me two hands, because. Uh, anyways, next question. I'd need uh, a big Stetson cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> you would need a yarmulke. I how about Nikhil up, everybody. <laughs> For multiple reasons. And Happy Hanukkah, I think it's still going on. It's still going on. No Holiday friends. season. <laughs> how many gifts do they get? How many fucking <laughs> days? <laughs> We they get, get all one the gifts. Christmas, they get 12 Hanukkahs. Come on. You know, why, you know, conservatives are so concerned with this war on Christmas. Yeah. How about the war that Hanukkah gets more gifts than us who celebrate Christmas? How about well, the war on, on, on Hanukkah, uh, the war on Christmas by Hanukkah? It's it's actually, Franklin, we, we were, I was speaking with ignorance in my heart. The fact of the matter is they go by the amount of that given religion there is in the country. So since there are more people who follow Christianity than anyone else, there only needs to be one Christmas uh, because so many fair. things happen on it. That's but if, if there's, you know, like, you, you know, Shintoism or something, those guys hardly have any holidays. Right, right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I apologize for my ignorance. Next question. And final question, I believe. No, no, there's two. Hopefully. More. Damn it. Oh, my God. Howard. No, I'm just kidding. We love our fans. Uh, next one is from uh, Theodore. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Fogel's Fo- Fo- Fogel. He is a good friend a good of mine. Guy. Another one. Very smart man. Another Fogel. You know, he's just, you know, it, I don't want to say he's an egghead because he's not an egghead because he's still cool. He knows he wears denim jeans. He's a Lego guy. But he guy. ain't no bird brain. No, he ain't a bird brain. He's a smart guy. Uh, and congratulations to him and his uh, growing family. But uh, 
He says, how did it feel showing the world how you look? Oh, to me? Yeah, to you. Well, first of all, I think both of us can answer this question because we both have shown the world how we look. And yeah. we, you can tell everyone just as well as I can. It's daunting. It's frightening. It the, is frightening. Uh, the Internet is full of, uh, of, of people who don't care about a man's heart or his dick. And they will say terrible things to tear yeah. anybody apart and rip them to shreds. And Even the best people. Even the best of us. Look what they're saying about our president. Now, that is a good man, and they continue to tear him down. It's awful. So, And they tear it, him down only for the things that he says. And not for the things that he has done. Right, and, and the things that he may feel. That, he, that might he... Be a, he might be a good guy inside, and nobody ever thinks about that. You know, you... nobody ever thinks like he could be a Scrooge who just needs a, a Christmas miracle to happen he just needs to find himself yeah nobody ever you know okay but anyways did anyone uh, start perfect oh good question yeah i believe the answer is no nobody's been perfect so, so anyways uh, it's, I was, it's a daunting task I, it was it was scary of course it was scary because you want to look your best for the, your your adoring fans that we have so many of but um, also i feel sorry to interrupt but i feel with you it took so long you built up this paul bunyan larger than life kind of uh aura to you that people think oh uncle howard he's seven feet tall he's got a, a case of mike's oh, hard lemonade right. on him at all at all times you know he's yeah, smoking they, a stogie yeah and, uh, the truth of the matter is i'm just a regular guy just like anybody you know, you might see me in the grocery store, just like any of you people might go to. Anything like that. I'm just a regular guy. That's beautifully said, Howard. Is. If, if you ever see me in one of your McDonald's or the Burger King, feel free to say hello to me because I'll You're be so happy guy. to meet my fans you at love those fans. places that I go to all the time. <laughs> you love McDonald's. Burger, McDonald's sure. and the Burger King. Yeah, that's good stuff. And if you see us watching the Iron Man, come by as well. Yeah, you know, we, we love, love those. We love cinema. The Marvel franchise. I put the sin so in cinema. <laughs> it's only because you uh, you claim you're getting hand jobs at the movie theaters, uh, but I'm but... actually giving them. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. You know this is the the time for giving, Howard. This Tis is the, time for... the season to give hand jobs. Follow oh, no, no, no. La, 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 no, la. no. Okay, the next one. Shitprol at Shitprol. This guy's a real thorn in my side. Pipe Fitters Local 69. I think he's great. Yeah, I well, like him. You know what? He tried to cancel us for the Papa John sticker on our mini on our regular oh, size that's fridge. Right. Okay, he well, tried to cancel us. You, you know, you, you, you're the one who's canceled. Now what? Yeah. Done yeah. Deal. Chest mate, buddy. Chest We're mate, the man. podcast stars. We're the Blue Ribbon We're nominated. the Blue Ribbon nominee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, what's your exercise routine, Howard? You look svelte. Nama knees, nama ankles, and nama feet. <laughs> Fucking guy, man. What's my exercise routine? Ooh, yes. What is this guy objectifying me physically? <laughs> he is objectifying you. Canceled. Canceled. Yeah, who's canceled now, Who's pal? canceled now, man? Did you type that with one hand? Yeah, maybe that's why it was the dumbest thing I ever saw. Oh my life. god! Dude. No, I'm kidding. He's I'm kidding. Good he's man. a good man. Or however, I'm sorry, he's. Are good... you allowed to be horny? Didn't we forget this lecture? He's allowed. That's to be... right. Anyone's allowed to be horny, and I I do consider it an honor to be the target of this guy's horniness. So first of all, uh, uh, shit prol, I do want to tell you, proceed. You're allowed to finish. <laughs> he has jerker's consent. <laughs> you have jerker's consent. Yeah. So, so what's your routine? You, you mess around with a big log outside. I've seen Yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. I have a bunch of uh, logs of different lengths that I have stolen from playgrounds at uh, the various elementary schools in the neighborhood. 
So first of all, it's quite a workout just to get those logs out of the nursery school and back to the home. A lot of them are used as foundation or, uh, um, you know, columns or something like that in their building. So I have to take those home and you know, getting them out and often involves jackhammering. I have to steal the jackhammers, of course. I don't own one of those. I'm not. I don't think he needs a heist backs. plan. This is you're giving him a blueprint to a heist. Is this Ocean's oh. One here? Yeah, this is Ocean's 1 because I don't have any other friends. I'd love to be Ocean's 2 and then maybe one day Ocean's 4, and then that's all I need, I think. Oh, I think that's enough, right? <laughs> that is enough. Yeah. I mean, maybe yeah, you and Bugman could be Ocean 3. They say 3 can keep a secret if 2 are dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good God. That's how, like, the Joker uh, did it in uh, the, the Joke Dark Man. The Joke Man. <laughs> Enemy of the show. It's no, simple. Of the we, show. Uh, kill the Batman. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the listen up here. Do you want to know the truth, shit, parole? The truth of the matter is I'm just out there every day doing something physically with my body. I don't have all this time like a lot of you, you millennials have out there sitting on your Facebook and on your plenty of fish all day looking for the newest, newest hot trends and all of those mp3s no i'm out here i've got a different agenda going on and i'm sorry but it doesn't involve any of that i'm working on the miata out there under the hot florida sun i'm looking for bullfrogs in the everglades i'm looking for bullfrogs in the panhandle i'll look for a bullfrog any old where you want and that's hell of a day's you work only in look and for itself. them you only look for the Budweiser frogs because you swear they're real. They you are. You think they, they are not real. They, you are looking for the mascot of a beer company. And even if, if they were real, they'd if, be dead by now. If they're not real, then how come I found all those guys saying, What's up to each other? That's true. Checkmate. Check. Chessmate. Chess okay. and mate. Chess and mate. Good. Grief, Howard. Good, Good grief, you got me. Golly, anyways, gravy. <laughs> anyways, we have a mission, as most of you know, is to find Joe Torres. We got a lead recently on a place called the Seashell, you yeah. know, and uh, I'm gonna call it. I wanted you to do it, Howard, but I think I'm gonna call You're it. You're gonna do it, huh? You don't I'm gonna trust do it. me to do the diplomacy. <laughs> I trust you just fine. I'm gonna do it. Get a this... load of this guy. He doesn't even think his own uncle can do a diplomat thing. <laughs> I, you know, look. If you want to coach me, by all means, I'm just gonna try to find out if Joe Torres goes there. Okay. And uh, you know, we'll see. I, I have a unique way of getting answers, hopefully, or. Hopefully they don't hang up on me so quickly. I'm not going to say I'm Nolan Ryan like you did. Tell them you're Oral Hershiser. I don't know who the fuck that is. Well, then they probably won't either. Perfect. <laughs> they don't know who I am normally. Okay, I don't know. You are a Blue Ribbon Podcast Award nominated podcast host. Let me know if you could hear it fine on your headphones. I know you could hear it because you're next to me. but. Perfect. Ah, yeah. Uh, put me through with Joe Torres. What's that? Uh, is Joe Torres there? This is uh, Sean oh, Van Halen. Sir. The fuck? Wow, that's not very Joe? respectful. They hung up on me. Now these guys have something. God to hide. damn it, man. Why can't we get a decent call anymore? The first one was so good, and we got like a, a big chunk of info, but now it's like, you know what? I think it's Dominkus. You know what? I'm going to give him a call. See if give they can't. A Resist. You want to call them? You call the them. You see if you have Howard better luck. Charm. <laughs> you see if you have better luck than me. Go I ahead. Know, I know what this kind of guy acts like. <laughs> Listen here, bub. I'm talking to Joe Torres, or else I ain't talking. Now put him on and give me a shot of Jaeger. Alright. I'll be ready for you whenever we get her. Oh, I'll be there. What? <laughs> I think he threatened to fight me, kind of. <laughs> you know what? I think you at least intimidated the fucking punk ass. Yeah, that, now that guy knows. That he's got to watch his back all night long. Because <laughs> a guy's going to want a shot of Jaeger. And he's gonna <laughs> yeah, right. The next me? guy who wants a shot of Jaeger is going to get back, <laughs> possibly. Every single man who orders a shot of Jaeger, he's going to be watching <laughs> his back. Oh, so it's you, huh? <laughs> uh, okay, so... Howard, 
I want to make another call, actually. Okay. And I'm surprising you here because recently we learned that George H.W. Bush is dead. And it was a shame. And possibly murdered. Most likely. We don't know. Do you I, know? I, I mean, have we don't very know. very strong suspicion as such. Wasn't he fine the day before? He was. And then so, the next day he's dead. I was driving by a Taco Bell. Lucky I was driving man. by I was driving by first the uh Mazda dealership and I saw their flag was at half mass and I thought, Hey, they're doing that for Dynamite Kid. It's for all the two thousand eighteen Miatas. <laughs> it's for all the <laughs> But it turns out it was for George H. W. Bush. That's why the flag was at half mass. I drive I passed McDonald's flag at half mass. I drive to Taco Bell. The flag is hung proudly up in the air like nothing happened. That's right, Taco Bell. The, the flag is, is waving proudly, and it's hung up there like nothing happened. So I feel like I should call them and say, hey, lower that flag for George Bush. The president. And I want to call them right now. I hope we're not becoming a, a prank call podcast. Hi, we're the jerky boys. <laughs> hey, it's those goofballs. <laughs> Okay. Baba Booey. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> your flag wasn't at half mass. Uh, I, George Bush passed away, and I know McDonald's lowers their flag. I'm just a, a local patriot, and uh, I feel the flag of Taco Bell should be lowered. Uh, can you get one of the guys out there to do it? My name's Scott Felsenfeld. God damn it. They hung Did, up. Well, I think that's a legitimate concern. Man, we were getting no luck, man. We were getting, you know what? We're dropping the calls. We're not the prank call guys. We're, we're not, not, you know. We're, well, that's just not us. We're more of an intellectual us. kind of humor. We are, and, you know, it, it really we're is. We're a thinking man's podcast. I promise. How about this? Next week, I promise us. I guarantee us. Joe Torres. That's, will be on the line. That's no, a promise. Your mouth better not be writing checks. I promise At Joe all, Torres. That's crazy weird if you can. <laughs> Joe Torres will be with us next week. I will finally have his number, and he will speak to us. And that's a promise. That is a pillow talk promise, and those are worth their weight in gold. That's right. <laughs> they are worth their weight in gold. So, anyways, Howard... I feel things have ran their course pretty early tonight. We've got some duds of prank calls, but I feel we've let people know who we really are tonight. You know, we are two guys. We're just two humble guys who are happy to receive to receive this nomination. Really, it's an, just the nomination is is an honor. So thank you, everybody. And, and, and they're saying this is like a oh, is this a a, a bugman prank? Uh, no, bugman's not associated with this. So no, I don't understand. These are some ridiculous conspiracy theorists. You know. It's the so fact, annoying. The fact of the matter is, Bugmane has been trying to avoid me a little bit lately. Cause oh, gotta, has he? We've got to talk some serious business, and he's probably not into it. Ah, uh, well, you know, you guys and your money-making ideas, you haven't shown a lot of promise, and you got a lot of people. Maybe he found out that, uh, who else, Papa John's, uh, Norwegian death metal bands, that you owe a lot of people a lot of money. You were, you're, if anything, you're Han Solo during Force Awakens. You know, it's, nobody it's, will do a deal with you in the galaxy. It's true. I do owe a lot of people a lot of money, but the thing is I'm also not good for it, so I don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> you know, it's not like they get anything for beating you up. Not that no. they could, you know, you're yeah, a barrel-chested well, man. They actually could because despite my appearance, my bones are incredibly weak. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Uncle Howard, where can they find you? Well, I'm glad you asked, and I'm even gladder to answer. I'm on Twitter at Miata Guy for you, number four, letter U. I've got uh, some stickers, so does Franklin. We'll send them to you if you send us a DM or whatever you want. You can PayPal us or Venmo us a little money if you want to help pay for soundcloud but if not that you don't got to another it's that, all good it's all good we got you but 
other than that, I guess I just want to say that uh, thank you guys for listening, and um, we all the Christmas season is upon us, and I hope all of you give me some gifts. What kind of gifts are you looking for before we uh, close the show? What kind of gifts do you you know? And and you know this is this podcast, this ain't your nana's podcast, but I would like to say you you could get your nana something, get her a nice uh, laser disc player. Uh, oh. I'm sure. It's a high quality way to watch cinema. We got like about three in this home, you know. Any Infinifilm DVDs like Elf, you mm, know. I mean, yeah, Elf is a fantastic movie, and Peter the, Dinklage. Peter Dinklage, the and Zoe Deschanel. Yeah. Oh boy. Um. Don't start jacking here, Howard. What, Don't start jacking here. What, what were those early era of DVD type things called? But you could only watch them like twice, and then they like self destructed. <laughs> what was the early era DVD? I have Divix no earth- or Divins or something like that. We're gonna have to look that up at some point. We're not anyway. I expert. think that's a good gift for your nana because she can watch a movie once, and then the DVD will stop working and then you can convince her that she's losing her mind <laughs> and it'd be a lot easier to convince her and put her that in her it's home. time for her to go where she belongs <laughs> nana this dv this movie never worked this vhs player never worked no like, nana everybody you're is. crazy nana everybody's watching ultraviolet uh, uh, uh dvds now nana you, come on get Never. with the times nana come on <laughs> Yeah, I'm not much of a, a gift guy. I love receiving them, though. I love receiving oh, them. I am, I am terrific at receiving gifts. <laughs> You're a pro. I you am are a pro. pro. Well, and if anybody wants one from me, they can't get it. But you know <laughs> what gift your Nana can't get? The gift of getting to listen to this podcast. Oh, that's right. Seriously, somebody made a threat the other day that they were broadcasting this at a senior citizen's home. As That's a, uh, not even funny. As as a a podcast for seniors initiative, and I was scared shitless because this show is not for nanas. We're not going to be held liable if our extreme thoughts, you know, like you know how we drink beer in our bed and you know we wrestle like, around, listen to David Lee Roth loud. We like twins. Twins? <laughs> Did somebody say twins? twins oh my god you know that would be the only thing i should ask the hot jewish teacher if she's got a twin do you have a twin and then and then really things can pick up then you know i mean now she knows what kind of guy you are and she knows what kind of guy i am. and the only thing better than uh being awkward sexually with one woman uh, with two not being able to satisfy two <laughs> that is who are basically the same person same. <laughs> who are basically committing incest in the bedroom but nonetheless you can find me at bug tv franklin on uh twitter instagram we are on facebook pillow talk with franklin and uncle howard on facebook uh we're on elo.co uh it's elo.co slash pillow talk with franklin and uncle howard one word on that Ello. I updated sometimes, Howard. You should check it out. I don't know what Ello even is. We are also on Hello, this. hello, hello. It's British Franklin. Hello. Oh, no. That's a fit bird. Okay. Right. <laughs> I will stop. Uh, um, <laughs> I will we stop. are on um, iTunes and SoundCloud and Stitcher yeah. and all of those things. I don't know like if we're on subscribe. Stitcher. <laughs> okay. Well, we yeah. want it to be, and that's be mostly what matters. The thought is what counts, guys. Come on. You know, is it that much – is it that difficult to download our episode, put it on your iPod mini, and, and take it with you to school and work? I don't think it's that hard, you guys. I don't think and it's that And if you think that's hard, we got one thing to say to you. Go fuck, Go fuck yourself. yourselves. <laughs>